Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript problem. This problem is more of algorithmic problem that is used to evaluate how would you handle and process the data on the front end side. As you are aware, the front end right now it uses state management to handle the data in the client side rendering. So if you are storing the data, you should be efficiently able to process the data so that you can pass it around the component, use it effectively and render it on the UI. On the screen, if you see, if I read the question, it says that we have to implement an in-memory search engine where you can store documents under a particular namespace and search an item and sort the search result by passing order by parameter. The code should be runnable and of production standard. That's a requirement. The search function looks like we have to pass the namespace. We have to find pass a callback function filter that will get all the entries of the namespace and we have to filter on that data and then the order by. Order by will take the name of the key on which it has to order by and the order which is is it in ascending or descending order. So if you see over here, I have the example. It says that we have to create this in-memory search engine function. Here we can add documents to the namespace. You can add multiple documents following the namespace. And then we can repeat also. So we, I can call this add documents multiple times with the namespace and the number of entries I'll pass. It will be accumulated under the movies itself. Then while searching, we give the namespace so we are searching under movies the callback function so we have to find all the entries which has rating greater than 8.5 as you can see each document has a rating key to that and then the order by function which is we have to sort on the key year and then that too in descending order so that's why ascending is false so it means we have to sort in descending order the result so let's get started. Let's see how we can implement this. The first thing is if we analyze the problem, we have to store the documents and under the namespace. So that's why let's create this function. I'm going to create the constructor function because we have to we can create multiple instances of this in memory search and use it according to the need throughout the application. So that's why we are creating a constructor function over here. Also in the example, it's, it is shown that we are invoking the function with the new keyword and we are receiving an instance of that. So we have to create the constructor function. Now under this, the first thing I'm going to create is this dot entities. So entities is where we are going to store the data and it will be using map. So map is the data structure that is inbuilt provided in the JavaScript that we are going to store the value. It uses key value pair. So as we have to store the documents under a namespace, so the key will be the namespace and the value will be the array of documents. So here in the function, the documents are passed as arguments next to each other. So let's create this add documents function. So here let's create this this dot add documents equals to a function that function will accept the namespace it's a single word and then the documents so i am using the rest operator over here that will accumulate all the following arguments after the namespace that is the first argument in the form of an array so we are going to store that now here let's check if the documents exist in the map or not so if it is not already present we have to create a new entry if it is already if it is already present then we have to update the documents that are already there so we have to merge the existing documents under the namespace with the new documents that we receive so that's why we are first abstracting over here this dot entities dot get and we are going to check with the namespace so if the namespace is present if existing so if it is present what we are going to do is 
this dot entities dot set set is the method to add the entry under the namespace and then in the array we are going to spread the existing as well as the documents that we have received in the fresh call otherwise what we have to do is we have to create so this dot entities dot set the namespace with the documents so if the entries already exist the namespace exists we are merging the two existing document and the current otherwise we are adding the current document itself now this will help us to store the documents let's create the search function so as you can see the search function accepts three things movies that is the namespace the filter function and the order by so here this dot search equals to function where we accept the namespace the filter function and the order by so let's get all the documents from the namespace so this dot entities dot get and we pass the namespace to that now this filter function it's a function it's a callback function right and whatever value we pass it it will do the check and return the set of document that passes the result so here what we are going to do is we are going to use another function filters and i'm going to use because the documents are stored in the form of array as you can see over here we have a filter method available natively on the javascript array so we are going to make use of that so we are going to say documents dot filter and then we are going to pass the filter function to that so the filter also accepts the callback function so we are going to pass this filter function as it is to that and then it will check and it will return the value to us if it is passes so we will get the filtered result in this variable filtered now the last thing we have to do is we got the result we got it filter whatever we are looking at now we have to sort the result set so if order by the parameter is passed it's not null or undefined we are going to extract the key and the order from it which is either ascending or descending and then we are going to sort the filtered result so again the javascript array has inbuilt function sort that helps us to sort as you can see in the suggestion in the ide it's saying that uh, the sort function can be used for sorting now the sorting works on three parameters if you return zero so here you see right a minus b is done so if the value is zero it will do nothing if the value is positive so if a minus b is a positive number it will sort in ascending order if the a minus b is negative number it will sort in descending order so that's how the sorting works so here we'll have the first and the second value and then if if it is ascending so what we do is we do a key minus b key so we abstract the first value with the second value and if it is not in ascending order it's in descending order so what we do is we just minus b key minus a key so this will sort the array and it will return the filtered list at the end so if order by check is done it will return the filtered and sorted array if the check is failed then we have to return the filtered value as it is so the filtered over here so that's it that's the simplest implementation of the in memory search let's save this clear the console over here and then here let's come and uncomment this let's see what is getting printed on the console so we see three objects been printed we have filtered in the movies for the rating that are greater than 8.5 so if you see greater than or equal to 8.5 so the first avengers is 8.5 we should get this is in the result black adam 8.7 and then black panther
and we have passed that we have to filter on year and in the descending order so ascending is false that is descending order so we should get 22 22 and then 2017 so see we got 22 22 and then 2017 so we have sorted in this order now if i change the ascending to true you will see that the 2017 comes first and then 22 and 22 we can also change this to rating and then here we can check we first got 8.5 then 8.7 and then the rating 9 if i change the order to false the 9 will come at the top it will go in descending order so 9 8.7 and 8.5 so that's it that's how you implement a in memory search engine in case if the interviewer asks you to extend this and have a more complex logic by solving problems daily you should be able to implement things so many of you have questions often time right where do we use dsa in front end so these are the cases where you do use dss and dss are the fundamental of computer science if you know the basics of dss very well like searching sorting searching sorry searching sorting and how you store the data so that you can you know process it better like i have used map over here for storing the data so this is these things really matter when you are implementing any solutions so make sure you practice very well i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time